Hello everyone, I am Hemant Reddy. Today I want to teach you about the electronics and the different types of branches in electronics because it is very important to know about the different electronic branches as we use the electronics daily. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, like and share with your friends. So let's get into the presentation. Please do watch till the end to know more. What is electronics? Electronics is nothing but mechanics of electrons. Electronics comprises the physics, engineering technology and the applications that deal with emission, flow and control of electrons in vacuum and matter. And coming to the different electronic branches, defense electronics, nano electronics, marine, optical, consumer, digital, analog, power, fuzzy, flexible. These are the different types of electronic branches. So let's continue Defense Electronics. Defense Electronics is the branch of electronics that deals with the design development of integrated electronic warfare systems for the armor forces. And I would like to describe about electronic warfare, any action involving the use of electromagnetic spectrum to attack an enemy or to destroy enemy places. It is nothing but electronic warfare. And coming to the nano electronics, nano electronics deals with the use of nanotechnology in the electronic components, and it's a branch of technology that deals with dimensions of less than 100 nanometers. And for your convenience, nano means extremely small. Do you know that the average human hair is 25,000 nanometers wide? And that means it is very, very, very small. And coming to the marine electronics. Marine electronics deals with the electronic devices designed for use in the marine environment. Even small drops of salt water can destroy the electronic devices. Therefore, majority of the marine electronics are water resistant or waterproof. And some of the examples for your convenience is sonar, means sound navigation and ranging, fish finder with global positioning system, GPS, and depth instruments and marine speakers which works in marine environment also. And coming to the optical electronics, it's a branch of technology that deals with the design of electronic devices with the combined use of electronics and light. And its focus is on light LEDs, light detecting devices and light controlling devices. And few of the examples, optical fibers, light emitting diode, traffic lights, photodiodes and solar cells. And Coming to the consumer electronics, consumer electronics is also called as home electronics. It deals with the design of electronic equipment intended for everyday uses. And these include some of the devices for entertainment and communication purpose, TV, DVD, cell phones and laptops. And some devices and new technologies are changing the way people interact and consume entertainment. And digital electronics is one of the wonderful branch in the electronics and it deals with the devices which operate on 1 and 0. They are called binary signals or digital signals. And digital logic gate is the basic building block of all the digital electronic circuits and microprocessor based system. In, in our daily life, we are seeing microprocessors and microcontrollers everywhere. In our laptop also, in our computer also, everywhere we are using microprocessors and microcontrollers and basic logic gates perform logical operations of n or n naught on binary numbers and few of the applications as we all know are adders, multiplexers, PLD, microprocessors and microcontrollers. And coming to the analog electronics, it's a branch of electronics that deals with continuously variable signal. It's widely used in radio and audio equipment. Telephones, tape recorders, and log communication devices are the examples of analog electronics. Although digital electronics or digital circuits are considered as a dominant part of today's technological world, some of the most fundamental components in a digital system are actually analog in nature. And coming to the power electronics, it's a wonderful branch in tribute stream and its application of semiconductors in the design of electronic devices for the control and the conversion of electric power. It's the technology behind switching power supplies, power converters, inverters, motor drives, soft starters, and 
is also deals with the power conversion from one phone to the other phone using inductors, capacitors, semiconductor devices like diode, MOSFET, and the power may be from milliwatts to the megawatts. And the wonderful thing I never saw is fuzzy electronics. It's an electronic technology that uses fuzzy logic. Its operation is fuzzy logic implemented on a dedicated hardware. It has a wide range of applications including control systems and the wonderful artificial intelligence which is revolving around us daily. And for your convenience, fuzzy means things which are not clear. And I would like to describe you about fuzzy logic also. And with an example I would like to describe, is it cold is a thing. Is it cold? If the answer is yes, the value is 1. If the answer is no, the value is 0. This is called Boolean logic. But fuzzy means it's a confusion. So, there may be little bit cold or little bit hot. We can't describe perfectly as yes or no. Then there comes the fuzzy logic. Because that's why fuzzy logic is an artificial intelligence to control the things happening around it. And if the cold is very much, the answer is 0 0.9. It is very little. 0 to 0 0.25 if it is very less 0 0.1 that's why fuzzy logic has partially true and partially false values also and coming to the another branch flexible electronics flexible electronics can be defined as a electronic devices which can be bent or stretched into any shape at any time it is not it is also known as flex circuits. It is technology for assembling electronic circuits by mounting electronic devices on flexible plastic substrates. And in future, it will play the part in the field of security, entertainment and may lead to innovative applications also. And finally, my watch to you. Full videos of each and every branch of electronics will be uploaded soon. As suggestions provide us wonderful opportunity to learn and to improve ourselves, suggestions are always welcome. If any doubt is there, please ask me in the comment section. Don't forget, please ask me in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching my presentation. Please do like, comment and share, subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much once again.